the American Broadcasting Company Radio Network presents Space Patrol! High adventure in the wild, vast reaches of space. Missions of daring in the name of interplanetary justice. Travel into the future with Buzz Corey, Commander-in-Chief of the Space Patrol! In today's transcribed Space Patrol adventure, Buzz and Happy are on the planet Gargita, pursued by a band of Chargers agents. They're gaining on us, sir. We're almost at the top of the ridge. Then it'll be downhill to the ship. Lucky for us, we don't have any weapons, sir. Our Chardu probably gave them orders to take us alive. From what we know of him, that isn't going to be any trouble. If we can keep this lead, we'll be safe. Hey, they have them. Here's the top of the ridge. Now a final spurt to the ship. Spoken rockets, Commander, look! Our ship is gone. We'll be back in a moment with today's exciting space patrol story, Planet of Discord. <laughs> Medical science has conquered many frightening diseases in the past. Now scientists believe they may soon have control of the infantile paralysis. A trial polio vaccine has been developed and given to hundreds of people with no ill effects. To prove its effectiveness against paralysis, Mass field test will soon begin. Your generous contribution to the march of time has brought the hope of final victory this near its goal. But many, many extra millions of dollars are needed to launch this crucial, what is hoped to be the final assault on polio. Your help now, with extra dimes and dollars, is the only hope for victory. Join the 1955 March of Dimes. Give extra. Give more than ever before. Send your dimes and dollars to your local March of Dimes headquarters. Now today's Space Patrol adventure, Planet of Discord. Agents from the planet Gargita are in the solar system searching for a jeweled crown that was hidden on the planet Earth centuries ago. Because of the secret and violent methods of the agents, Commander Corey has blocked all attempts to recover the crown, hoping to force all parties to the intrigue out into the open. Now, in Commander Corey's central office, Terra Headquarters, Buzz places a report in a folder and hands it to Cadet Hap. When you leave, Hap, drop this off at the Yes, sir. Oh, by the way, how's that car open? Yes, sir. Is that the boss, Charlie? No. I just thought he'd have a group called the League of the Green Serpent. Our time is also a state of art. I can't convince him that we don't torture or eliminate criminals. Not even spies from other states. He told us the two names of other Saudi agents with him. He doesn't know anything about the other faction, except that they are agents who are also after the final You know, I haven't been thinking of it. But both sides in the Saudi Arabia would rather have the town stay lost than have the other side recover. That's right. Well, one thing is true. I'd rather get the town until it's fixed by and probably set it on our stage. Hey, I'm going to get back to you in about 1,300 hours and get it done. Now, don't forget this folder, huh? After a hearty lunch at Space Patrol Commissary, Cadet Happy strolls through the Terra City Park on his way to the new service building. As Happy walks along, he points his small pieces of bread with the ever hungry pigeons that flock around him. Hey, hey, Pop, sir, give that little guy a chair. Here, here, sir, this is for you. You want more? I was just talking to the pigeons. They were pigeons. Yes, I see there. Everybody else in the park seems to be in a the rush. I was wondering if you do me a favor. Oh, I guess so. You know anything about the microphone cameras? For a minute. I want to take a picture of the top or whatever. But the film I was talking about will be low. Oh, that's easy. Uh, you got a new roll of film? Probably dark, though. Oh, this will be fine. 
I think I can shield it with my cat. Great idea. I'm sure lucky you can do that. First, we'll pick up a little bit of space. Inside. Go over there and sit down. Who are you? We'll find that out later. Now sit down. That's it. Well, those are those charges ordered. Any trouble? Anyone see you? Now no, I lured him into the car and slugged him. Now he's partially under sight control. He'll do anything I can. Take that uniform off him and get him into civilian clothes. Rod, are you all ready to leave? Don't tell me. You didn't pack that space at all. I thought you might want to contact Charlie. We'll do that after we blast off the bad people. No, I think the space is going to stay. Say that to the last. Let's make sure we haven't left any evidence in the other room. Cleaned out, boy. If there's a slip up, Charlie will hold me responsible. Come on, let's check. What about the cadet? Take off that uniform and get into these clothes. Come on, get up. Oh, okay, okay. Now, what about those papers that the doctor's carrying? Just general information. I think so. Still, it might be helpful to start here. We'll take him along. Well, cadet. Yeah. I suppose you're expecting to be rescued any minute now. What do you mean? You know what that is. And that isn't going to stop us. We've got a spaceship ready at the spaceport. Come back and pull to prevent interception by Guardian's fire. 
If you're sure every ship has been checked, then Happy must still be on Terra. I'll remain space born. Something's coming on one of Darjeeva's frequencies. I'll call you back. Call you out. Okay, Mr. Cargill. The plan works. Our first ship has passed through the Terra space lock. The jet is aboard. I'll proceed at once to Darjeeva. Then I'll call you aboard Terra 5, calling Space Control Terra. I'm setting a hyperspace vector for Darjeeva. I'll try to contact you when I come out of Star Drive. Call you out. The second you might save isn't worth those weeks you might lose, so be careful. Cross with the light and only at corners. Remember, the life you save may be your own. Now, back to today's Space Patrol adventure, Planet of Discord. Two of Chardu's agents have captured Cadet Happy and are taking him to the planet Darjeeda. Their real goal is to lure Commander Corey into a trap. With carefully contrived carelessness, they're permitted Buzz to learn their destination, knowing that he would follow them to rescue Happy. As the commander was about to put the Terra 5 in the star drive for the trip to Darjeeda, a stranger stepped into the control compartment and held Buzz at gunpoint. He revealed himself as Pleto, a member of a faction that opposes Shardu's attempt to become Emperor of Darjeeda. Pleto has vowed to destroy Buzz and Happy. Happy and I aren't involved in your affairs in Darjeeda. What good will it be to get rid of us? Shardu's agent had gone to great pains to let it be known that Shardu abducted to get happy. If neither of you return, your government will hold Shardu responsible. You expect the United Planets to help your gang into power, perhaps even use force to put down this Shardu and his followers. Well, why not? You have had no trouble with our league, only with Shardu's agents. But who is the rightful government of Darjeeda? Who's in power now? The League of the Green Serpent has been in control for several years. Then this upstart Shardu started his rebel rousing campaign to restore the Empire. That's what I hear, Cato, your gang wants the crown, too. Yes. To a large part of our population, the crown is a symbol. There is a legend to the effect that the crown gives the person who wears it infinite wisdom and the power to rule with justice and mercy. When we get to Darjeeda, we will force you to tell me where the crown is. And with the weapons aboard the ship, the lead can conquer Shardu. And then, Commander, you will be eliminated. But Cadet Happy, you can at least save him. Everything. Set a vector for Darjeeda. Do you know where it is? Its orbit circles a star near Antares, right? Yes. Lokina. Do as I say and ask no questions. Remember... Your mind is no longer entirely your own. If we have talked, energy from my mind has steadily overpowered you. The side force, you know. Yes. I know. The vector for Darjeeda is set up. All right, Tori. Cut into Star Drive and don't try anything. <laughs>
How long does this last? Until we come out of hyperspace. Isn't this the way your Darjita interstellar drive works? Yes, it's something like it. But not quite. It feels rather strange. Uh, it does? But I am not flecking out if that's what you're hoping. Just remember, between the sight force and the gun, I am master here, mentally and physically. We're coming out of star drive now. For well, your own good, Corey. I hope you didn't make any mistakes computing the back door. Well, there's a star glaring to the starboard viewport. Recognize it? It looks like looking all right. The greenish Class B star. It's about 40 million DUs away. It's looking, huh? And look in the viewscope. There is Darjita. You sure? Don't you think I know my own home planet when I see it? There's something else in the viewscope, too. A spaceship. You go after it. It's probably Shardy's agents with the cadet. If we can see them, they can probably see us. Well, what of it? They're expecting you. But don't get too close. Let's see if we can figure out what they're up to. Agent Vorvain calling Shardy. Agent Vorvain calling Shardy. Miss Carden, you may report for me. We have emerged from Star Drive and are now approaching Darjeeva. Excellent. Has Corey followed you? I assume so. Here are your orders for me. There is a work camp in the Keldan Mountains, such the power relay tower. Those men are all loyal to me. They are there and remain until you hear from me. Very well, Shardu. And God that you that carefully. As long as we have him, we can afford courage to help us locate the ground and cooperate with weapons. Are your instructions clear? Yes, Shardu. I will obey them to the letter. For vain out. The ship's landing, but it's heading down hundreds of miles from the city. I wish you could pick up their space upon signals. Plato, do you know what frequency they'd be using? No. Maybe that's not Bourdain's ship. Yes, it is. I recognize it as the one I saw at the Terror Space Day. I can't figure this out. Bourdain did everything he could to let me know he was taking happy to Dodge Vida. Did you think he'd keep feeding me clues or lead me into Shardu's trap? Hmm. It is strange. Perhaps Shardu has changed his plan. It could be that Happy is a more used person here than Shardu originally thought. Hmm. That must be it. The cadet is no longer bait to trap you. He's important in himself. Well, let's get him away from Borbane. That looks like a wild, uninhabited region. We wouldn't have many against us. No, Corey. What of the secrets the cadet knows, he will never reveal to Shardu. You are going to bless that ship with your atom cannon. Crazy, Tiger. You will do as I say. A fast, slow approach will take them completely by surprise. You hurt me, Corey. You can't resist the sight force, so don't try it. It'll, it'll have to be a, a fast approach. I know. You are completely under my control now, Corey. Prepare your weapon and increase velocity. Anything you say, Colonel. How's this? Is this fast enough? Corey, wait. There is too much acceleration. I am just breaking out. Just in case you don't, maybe this will help. <clears throat> in a crude work shack in the mountains of Darjeeta, Cadet Happy quietly tests the strength of the ropes that hold him securely to a chair. Across the room, Warbeam stares anxiously at the space upon receiver. Should have heard from Shardu by now. Or he must be near that gym. Why don't you call Shardu and find out? Because my orders are to wait. Something may have happened. You never can tell, Bourdain. Uh, maybe the League of the Green Serpent is up to something. Ah. You shut up. 
I know what you're up to. You're trying to get me worried, so I'll make a space phone call. And maybe your pal Corey will pick up the signal. Okay, okay. Well, sit there and chew your name. Jardo knows what he's doing. And there's no use of your trying to loosen those ropes, Cadet. Even if you get out of this shack, there are 40 men in this construction unit that'll hunt you down. Oh, I'm not trying to get loose. I like it here. Yes, I bet you do. But just remember, there's nothing around here but mountains and dry brush. Even if you did escape, there's nothing to eat. You'd starve or die of exposure. Come on, Come on. Rock, what's the matter? There's a fire down in the supply dump. The wind's carrying it right toward the camp. Let's go. That's not our job. We don't belong to this crew. The chief wants every able-bodied man down there in a hurry. There's explosives in the supply dump. The fire gets much closer oh, to all it. all right. How about the cadet? We can put him to work, too. Oh, no, it's too much trouble to keep an eye on him. Leave him tied up. Come on. All right, Rock. Vane and Rogue, they, they rushed out to fight a fire. I'll take it easy. I'll have the cut loose in a second. How did you land without anybody seeing you? I came in low on the other side of the ridge. I'm sure lucky that fire broke out or you never could have gotten into camp. I know. I started it. Okay, let's go. Keep your head down, Hap. The farther we get from that camp without their seeing us, the better. They're all too busy fighting that fire. <laughs> Vane, he sees us. And he's got a gang with him. Hurry, Hap. Oh, wow, they're closer than I thought. If we make it to the top of the ridge, we'll be in the clear. Get them off! Don't let us get away! Hap, there are four men closing in on our right. They're gaining on us, sir. We're almost at the top of the ridge. Then it'll be downhill to the ship. It's lucky for us they don't have any weapons. Yeah. Chardu probably gave them orders to take us alive. From what we know of him, that isn't going to be any picnic. Well, if we can keep this lead, we'll be safe. <laughs> wow, they have got weapons. Here's the top of the ridge. Now, a final spurt to the ship. Smoke and rockets, Commander, look. Our ship is gone. Right on. Must have broken out of the compartment and blasted off. Now what are we going to do? Keep running. It's downhill for us, and they're still climbing. And even if we get away from that mob. Then what? We'll worry about that later. Hap. Yes, sir? What's down there? The ship vanished. The shadow is still down. The shadow left behind. I thought they were still going to blast it off in a hurry. I didn't blast it. Run for the shadows. There they are! After them! They're at the top of the ridge. Stop before they reach the ship! Hear that, sir? They see the ship. Hurry, Hap. When you're there, Happy. I still can't believe the ship is there. It has to be, or there wouldn't be a shadow. Come on, man! How can we find the airlock of an invisible ship? Reach out. Touch the hull. Hey, hey I can see it. It's real. Up the ladder, into the ship, quickly. Close the hatch. I'll blast off. Okay, Hap. Stand by for blast off. Standing by, sir. Close port. Close port. Fire jet. Fire jet. Up, skipping away. Oh. We made it. We're still in charge of the domain. Expect more trouble. Now that I'm back in the pair of five, I'm not worried. Commander, why was it we couldn't see the ship until we touched it? Whoever was working that sight cause on us must have been concentrating on our sense of sight. Our sense of touch broke the Oh, uh, well, I'd better check the view scopes for a guy the ship. Bring Cutto up here, Happy. We may need him. He's locked the compartment for us. Okay. Here he is, sir. He acts kind of groggy, but I'll keep him covered. Right, huh? Well, Plato, was that invisibility trick some of your work? Yes. He had nearly took all my strength. What was the idea? I figured if nobody could find the ship, I'd have a chance to break out of this compartment. I was concentrating on every detail of the Tetrapod and projecting the idea that it didn't exist. If you don't bring that stuff forth, try it sometime. You did a good job of it, Cleto, except for one thing. Mm-hmm. What was that? You forgot the shadow. Chardu of Nigeria calling Commander Corey aboard the Terra 5. Chardu? Keep an eye on Cleto, huh? Let's see what Chardu is up to. Chardu of Nigeria calling Commander Corey. 
I have an apology to make, and some good news for you. Commander Corey to Shardu, go ahead. Greetings, Commander. By the strength of your signal, you must be very close to our planet, Dardita. You mentioned some news, Shardu. Yes, but first, my sincere apologies for abducting you that happy. My stupid agents acted without my knowledge, and they are being punished. You will find your ship at the state port of Telco City. Happy will be returned to you safe and sound. Fine. If you've got happy there, may I speak to him? Well... Commander, I gave him a hearty dinner, and he had to sleep in my own private quarters. Oh, I see. And uh, you'll have him at the space Oh, of course. I'll wake him up very shortly. What was that? It's me, Shardu. Get it happy. I guess I talk in my sleep. <laughs> you, you tricked me. We'd like to say goodbye, Shardu, but if you still want trouble, we'll be seeing you. A preview of next week's exciting Space Patrol adventure in just a moment. Here's an important announcement for all college men. If you qualify as an aviation cadet, you can become a commissioned officer in the United States Air Force with earnings of more than $5,000 a year. As an aviation cadet, you'll get the most thorough training in the world in the new field of jet aviation. You'll be flying jets yourself within 18 months, flying easily and safely. You'll be a skilled jet pilot with a new world of aviation before you. If you're between the ages of 19 and 26 and a half, single and have two years of college, you can qualify for this training and for a wonderful jet future. Visit your nearest United States Air Force base or recruiting station and talk it over. Now a preview of next week's exciting Space Patrol adventure. Buzz and Happy are on the planet Saturn, searching for agents from Darjeeling. Investigating an apparently deserted scrap metal yard, Happy glances up at a crane control tower. The tower looks empty, Commander. And the men who are after must be in the buildings at the other end of the yard. Come on. Uh-oh. What's that? The crane. Someone started the electromagnetic crane. Commander, look. It's swinging right over our heads. The, the magnet with scrap metal hanging from it. Somebody is in that power hat. If they cut the current, that metal will fall and crush it. Be with us next week for the thrilling Space Patrol story, The Conquest of Darjeeta. Space Patrol, created by Mike Moser, starring Ed Cameron, Commander Torrey, and Lynn Osborne as Cadet Happy, was written by Lou Houston, produced and directed by Larry Robertson, executive producer Helen Moser. Other players were Ken Mayer, Bela Kovach, and Norman Jolly. Dick Wesson speaking. This program is broadcast to our armed forces overseas through the worldwide facilities of the Armed Forces Radio Service. Space Patrol came to you transcribed from Hollywood. This is ABC Radio Network.